Hey, it's Tony, and I'm back with a motivational moment. So this week, what I want to talk about is how we react when we get into moments of helplessness. We all go through it. Things happen that just affect us so, you know, and we may have some control over it. We may not have some control over it. And so I think the first thing we need to do is realize, okay, do we have control over any of this? And if we do, that's great. That's awesome. We have the power to change things. So like I tell my family, you know what? We can complain about it for a little while because you need to rant. You need to get it out. And sometimes when you're saying it out loud to get it out, sometimes you can be inspired. Okay, well, you know what? I can do this or I can do that or whoever we're ranting to can give us some, um, some advice on what we can do too. But after a while, you kind of, okay, you know what? Complaining isn't going to do anything else. What can I do about it? And there are things where you cannot do anything really about it. The only thing you can control is your reaction to it. And I think those are the times that are most dangerous to us because of the fact that it's really hard to change things within ourselves. It's so much easier to blame other people. Oh, well, I'm in this situation because that person did this to me. And we wallow in it and we just feed into it. And that negativity just manifests itself in really bad ways. And that's when people start becoming bitter and they start turning on other people and yelling and just not being a good person. And there are times where I have found myself like that. Recently, I found myself like that. And I didn't like that. So I took a step back and said, okay, what can I do? What can I control? I can only control the situation to a point. So I made some changes of what I could do in that situation. And then I realized the only other thing I really can control is my reaction to it. I'm not going to let that get me to that place of bitterness and hopelessness. You know, what can I do about it? And I started doing it. One of the things is making videos. Um, teaching myself Photoshop and Illustrator and, and things like that because I realized I needed a creative outlet. I needed to do something for myself to bring joy, to add positivity in my life. I love to learn and I realized, okay, this is great because I can do something to try to better my situation and I'm learning at the same time. And if everything works out the way I want it to, I'm going to be in a better place. In a year, hopefully I will be in a better place. But the thing is, I'm working towards it. I'm doing something towards it. Uh, another example is um, my daughter's school. My daughter's school went through a lot of changes. The educational system here in Arizona, actually all over, is really bad. But Arizona is really bad. My daughter went through multiple math and science teachers. She's in seventh, and she's in eighth grade. Sorry, she's in eighth grade, and that is not when you want, especially math and science core classes. You do not want to constantly be going through teachers. And, you know, she was mad. She was upset. I understand that. And I told her, you have every right to be mad and upset. This is your future that it's affecting. But what can you do about it? You can go onto YouTube. There's tons of math and science subjects on here. You can go onto all these different websites. The school came up with these websites they could go to. And I told her, nobody's telling you, you need to stop learning. You cannot go outside of here and learn this on your own. I'm like, you can do this. While they get their stuff together, you're going to be doing this to try and better yourself. And it, it, it's good because she realized, you know what? She does have a way. She does have control over something. And that's what I'm doing. That's what we all need to do. We need to figure out, okay, what can we do? There are times in your lives, like when my mother had her stroke, I cannot control any of that. All I can control is our reactions. And my mother and I both realized we were going to get into, okay, you know what? We're going to learn as much as we can about this. And we started going outside the box. We found people who were in the same situation and they gave us great ideas. One of them was a music teacher and my mother has aphasia. It affected her ability to speak. And so she had to relearn how to speak. And this music teacher who had a stroke himself, you know, he was, I believe in his late twenties, or early thirties, I can't remember. He taught himself using music, you know, the metronome, how it goes back and forth, gives a little beat, A, B, C, D, E. That's how she taught herself how to speak again. 
And so we, we learned our situation does not define us. It's our reaction to things. So I think one thing we need to do in our lives is take some time, you know, really look at ourselves and realize what do we need to do to make ourselves happy again? Like I said, sometimes you're limited. Okay, well, find something else that's going to make you happy. You need to counter all that. And I think that's once we start opening ourselves up to that and realizing we do have some control over other parts, it's kind of going to make this part more bearable. And I've been doing this for the past few weeks and you know, it has, I have a part, I have something to look forward to. That's just mine. That's, that's new and it's exciting and there's, it's full of promise and I'm actually looking forward to that. So it's counteracting this negativity that's coming here because I realized, you know, that is not going to be forever. Eventually I'm going to get past that. This is what I'm aiming for. So find out what motivates you. Find that thing that makes you want to learn more. Take yourself to a new level. It's like video games. We're leveling up at all times. Find what it is that does that. Don't focus so much on the negativity, on the bitterness. And you know what? When you find yourself becoming that person, that mean, bitter person, you need to actually be able to face yourself and say, you know what? No, we're done. We're not doing this anymore. We're going to move on. So let's all move on together. I'll see you guys next week for my motivational moment. And I hope you guys have a good week. Bye.